Orange County's cold case squad continues to get results together for families afraid that their lost loved ones were long forgotten. Squad has now closed 10 cases. They had all been gathering dust on the shelves for years. Only News 6's Eric Von Anken got a look at the cold case vault deep inside the sheriff's office. The crime scene was gruesome. A man searching the Wakaiba woods for scrap metal lifted this piece of tin and discovered what he called a rotting mummified body still wearing her jewelry and a bloodstained t-shirt. In 1993, it made headlines for weeks. Detectives had no clue who the woman was. Then the case went cold. The woman's case file now rests here. At the end of an industrial hallway in the basement of the Orange County Sheriff's Office. So this is our cold case room. That Detective Corporal David Nutting now manages. How many files are in here? Uh, well, we have, we have about our 500 cold case folders. The files are in chronological order, dating back to 1941. As those cases pile up, those are families that are left with without answers. Orange County Sheriff made getting results for those families a priority and has dedicated Detective Nutting and now three others entirely and exclusively to the new cold case unit. In the past, detectives would look over a cold case in their spare time. The problem with that? Witnesses, there's the, the original detective's notes. Cold case investigations take so much time, weeks and months. All of these analog tapes had to be converted to digital files before detectives could even begin to listen to them. And this is just one case. So each one of these cases has to be dissected. And witnesses need to be re-interviewed if detectives can find them. Do you feel like sometimes you're spinning your wheels? Uh, no, I never feel like I'm spinning my wheels, but I definitely feel like I just get overwhelmed sometimes. I mean, I definitely lose sleep over some of these cases. But the new attention to these age-old files is getting results together. Detectives tell us they just knocked on this man's door in Georgia and arrested him, they say, after identifying him from a bloody fingerprint as the murderer who left a young woman tied up in a comforter in this house 23 years ago. In just the past year, the cold case unit has solved 10 cold crimes. That's more than have ever been solved over the past several decades. Back in November, the cold case unit had another breakthrough. They took a fresh look at the case of a man stabbed dozens of times, found dead in a convenience store bathroom in 1996. For the first time ever at the sheriff's office, they used genetic genealogy. That's DNA ran through a genealogical database and arrested the murder suspect after almost 25 years. I'm Eric Von Eck at Getting Results Together, New 6. What it must be like for those families to get Finally some get results some decades later. After they'd already Incredible. given up. Mm -hmm. Amazing stuff.